Hello friends, I'm Anuradha and we are on part 2 of Locust Learning YouTube series. In part 1, we learn to set up and verify Locust on Windows. And in this part, we will set up development environment for Windows. By development environment, I mean we'll be storing and setting up IDE to write Locust scripts, which are basically Python files. Definitely, uh, we can do without IDE and write scripts in Notepad. But what we will end up is with a lot of compilation issues and a lot of efforts to resolve these compilation issues. So um, there are so many, many popular IDs in market for Python, maybe like Sublime, Visual uh, Studio, PyJam and many more. And you know what, in last series we installed Python and it also came bundled with an ID called Idle. So, it's not actually it's just an editor python editor so uh, so so you can go to good many good resources to see the features of uh, these and many other editors but this is not the main topic of our lecture and what we will be diving into is we'll be just going to install and set up pycharm for lucas i am not going to argue why i need to use a pycharm i find it best suited for myself because it is the it is specifically exclusively made for python scripts so just let's move on and install pycharm to install pycharm go to google and do download pycharm okay and click on the link which leads to jetbrains.com slash pycharm and under download section you will have two editions of PyCharm. One is professional and community. I'm talking about Windows here. And uh, professional is a paid version and community is an open source. So I'll download and install community. So once the download is available, you can double click it and install PyCharm by following instructions. Once our installation is complete, we can launch PyCharm Community Edition. Now this window is because I also had installed PyCharm earlier and uh, for this demo purpose, I uninstalled it and I reinstalled it. So it is asking whether I want to import previous configuration or not. So I say do not import settings. Here it asks me for selecting my theme. I'll choose light one. You can choose anyone. It asks me to create, it gives me a window where I can choose to create new project or I can open existing project. So I'll create new project. I need to give location. So here I give name. And location of my project project interpreter um, so we'll be creating new environment using virtual environment which means that this environment will be specific to uh, this particular project it will have its own dependencies and modules um, uh, and Python versions within this virtual environment all right and I'll do inherit global site packages because I want to have site packages folder modules inside site packages folder inside my project. What does that mean? So let's go to the Python where we installed Python and if we see lib site packages, I will see my locust got installed here, the one which I installed in my uh, earlier series series one and along with that I also got my modules which on which the locust is dependent okay for example this request module or maybe G event module and many more all right so I'll again go to PyCharm and also say inherit global site packages I again it's my choice if I want to share this environment across my projects for now I will not like to share, I'll just do create.
okay so here is my project and let's see the structure of this project so i created a virtual environment for this project within which my scripts will be operating it has lib it has some side package folder and it has some and then there is external libraries on which this project is dependent which is side packages and uh, let me go to lib and let me see my site package folder and yes it contains all the modules okay so i hope i am ready to create my new script let me check and let me name it as locust file and uh, let me just copy this script from um, locus documentation under quick start to check if i am able to run my locus script from this ide okay i'll go to terminal and first let me check if it is able to read my locust command yes it is and let me go to the directory in which my script is available okay and i'll give locust minus f locust file dot pv and so I'm able to successfully run web monitor for locust at this port. Let me go and check. I can do that by accessing my local host 889. For this time I'll run 11 and this will start the test. Okay. Alright. So don't go on this error. It's because this is I have not specified host over here. What our purpose was to check whether we are able to run locust script okay so this is one thing now while configuring ide we might face some issues especially the ones related to interpreter okay sometimes your environment or ide won't detect the interpreter location this may be due to the reason that you have installed multiple versions of python or maybe some other okay so to resolve such issues let's see what we have to do to resolve these issues we have to go to file settings project project interpreter and we have to configure the interpreter sometimes it may show you no interpreter over there Okay, so you have to select the appropriate interpreter. What if it has no interpreter at all in the drop down? You have to click on this gear, you have to do show all, and then you can add interpreter paths over here. Or sometimes it is not able to read site packages. In that case, you have to intentionally add the path of site package over here, like this okay and you have to give this all right sometimes you may want to install locust package within this project maybe you didn't install locust globally you want to install the locust pro package within this project what all you have to do so what you have to do you have to click on right now we have all the packages but it's just to show you how you can install locust package within this ide you have to go to uh, this you have to click on this plus sign and within available packages you have to click on locust and here this locust io which shows version 0.11 and authors and this is the correct site all right so this is our right version and uh, we can install the package and once you install the package it will also de depend the packages on which it is dependent will also 
arrive here okay so right now we are not having any issues this description was just to indicate in case you run into any issues related to interpreter okay so in this lecture what we talked about we talked about why we need ide for our locus descripts and we also installed pycharm then we configured and created and configured new project configured it with python interpreter and we also saw the case where if we don't find python interpreter or if we find such an error no interpreter what we have to really do right so this was this post was all about this and in our next po post we'll be talking about in detail about creation of your first script in locus so stay tuned subscribe to our channel and also do not forget to visit our site qmilestone.com slash blog for it will come up with many more information for your favorite tool thanks for now